quite a few flight schools and this is why those little chestnuts are flying around here all the time. As you can see, if the red side looks green now. We are inside the red season or winter season and it started about three weeks ago and the entire island, including the rest of the south, got green. The Coco crater, I think this is uh, the diamond head you can see from here, is also green now. Uh, usually during the summer, um, everything is brown and yellow. It's just now for another about two months and then everything is getting brown and yellow again. So here in the south red side, you can find everything a second time what you can find in Honolulu. At some point they decided to make Honolulu less dense population wise and they started to build housing here and another courthouse, uh, shopping malls, everything a second time. And then people started to, to move out here and then they created this additional or well, another little problem here, the traffic jam every morning and in the afternoon. So we Every morning between 6 and 9 and every afternoon between 3 and 6 there's a horrendous traffic jam here towards the Honolulu because people are still working there. And uh, yeah, then they uh, thought about what they can do and then they uh, they decided to make a rail to build a railroad. First concept for this railroad, 1972. And the finishing date for grand opening this year, no last year actually, now, on June 30th, 2024 now. So yeah, the first station of this brand new railroad is here on the right, right next to the highway, the Makakilo station. And it goes from here all the way to the stadium, and that's it for now. And in two years, or now one year, um, it's supposed to go all the way to the airport. But maybe at some point in the far future, all the way to Honolulu downtown. The good thing is, those trains, they start every five minutes, and it costs only three dollars. The bad thing is, I forgot to build the restrooms on those stations, and it costs the taxpayer additional fifty-three dollars per ride. But nothing is perfect, and everyone is happy for now. So we're coming up here at uh, the west lock. As soon as we have the middle lock on the right, we will turn right towards Pearl Harbor. You see a bunch of ships there, including two former carriers. Those ships, they're all out of service. Someone told me they're partially equipped and could be reinstated. The ship right in the middle just got decommissioned last year in September, filling up the gap nicely we had there before. And those two carriers, those are carriers for helicopter. So there's no landing strip on top of them. Uh, decommissioned in 2009 and 2015.
Yeah, those ships, uh, by the way, they had nothing to do with Pearl Harbor, the attack. Uh, they were not even um, in service um, before World War II ended. We're getting closer to the center of Pearl Harbor. Right in front of us, this is Fort Island. They have a landing strip right in the middle. They're not using it uh, right now as such. 102 ships were parked here in this area when the attack on Pearl Harbor started. I want to point out some memorials they have there. The first one is coming up on this side of Fort Island on our right, but we will pass it one more time for you on the left. Only the rusty middle section of that ship is sticking out of the water and the tip in the back is marked by a white buoy. That's the Utah Memorial down there. On the other side, the Missouri Memorial, that is the battleship. A peace contract was signed there. Pointing right towards the most famous one, yeah, the Arizona Memorial, the one with the white structure and the black flag. It's quite windy, so it's not so easy to see the oil on top of the water. This one is leaking oil for more than 80 years now, and it's quite a bit, about 9 quarts a day. Tighter turn here again. When the uses of Arizona thing, there were still more than 500,000 gallons of fuel on board, even after that huge explosion, and more than half of the casualties, they came from that ship. The USS Utah was not on the official target list of the Japanese. They got more or less hit by accident first, and um, those targets, they changed quite a few times during that one hour and 15 minute When the uses Utah sank, there were 58 sailors on board. Four of them are buried on land. 54 of them are still on board. The south area here on the right of Pearl Harbor is occupied by the U.S. Navy. All those gray ships you see there, they're up to date and in service. Right now we have three small submarines there as well. And the visitor center for Pearl Harbor is on the right hand side on the very end of this bridge here. And you take a boat. You can take that bridge, that's only for military personnel. In front of us, the Aloha Stadium. It is a multi-purpose stadium. No audience allowed since December 2020. And now they have to tear it down because it is too rusty. The plan is to replace it by a much larger, nicer one. It's supposed to be finished in 2028, but... ...much longer than planned. So let's see. Uh, it's a little hard to see against the sun, those little submarines here. Someone told me they are small attack su su uh, submarines, uh, whatever that exactly means. In front of us we have the airport again. But this time I have to disable your microphones one more time. Even I know, yeah, you were not super chatty and distracted. Check thing. Probably not even notice. Oh, I just got the clearance already to fly to the other side where we came from. Interesting. 
we are passing here the area of the Honolulu Airport where the U.S. Air Force is. All those larger aircraft sitting outside, all the F-22s they have here, they are somewhere hidden underground. Yeah, for me, it's time to say thank you for coming in and flying with us. Blue Hawaiian helicopters and with me. If you like that flight, my name is Benjamin. And if you didn't, for some reason, my name is Simon. And that's important to remember if you're considering... Okay, they rejected my clearance. As soon as I finally get it then, I will start the happy landing music and then you know that we will be on the ground soon. Okay. Yeah, please remain seated as the planes are coming to a full stop. I will shut down the helicopter after landing. And open the doors for you from the outside, or more likely one of those ground crew ladies will do that for you.